What actually happened? It is all in my mind, but I can remember. I know I can. A little arm. A small leg. Okay. And another little arm. Another small leg. Oh, look, only the head is left. Holy shit. Holy shit. I was under the bridge, but but it was just a game. This, however, is not a game. I was just playing. It's just a bad joke. Under the bridge. The church, the town, speak, the white lady. Trzeba było zdjęcia, ale lepiej wtedy upier ten, żebyśmy wiedzieli do końca, a tak to... What the fuck? O, kości już zniszczyli, okej. Okay. Co tu się odwalił? What the fuck? No, the power is back. Now I can develop the role and hopefully have my questions answered. The fuck?
Oh dear God, so it's true. I killed my sister. I did everything to hide the truth. Then I killed my mother to rid myself of the guilt. But she was nasty and everything was her fault. God, what does that make me? I don't deserve to live a second longer. Maybe I will see her again and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. But if there is nothing after death, at least I will be free from this suffering. I know it's not right, but I can't do this anymore. I fired instinctively at that soldier, hitting him right in the head, but it was not a good idea. He obviously didn't come alone. When the others came in, I closed my eyes. I heard a lot of commotion and then felt a sharp pain in the stomach. They were kicking me while another tried in vain to convince himself that the soldier on the ground was still alive. They hit me in the ribs, the back, and the stomach. I couldn't breathe and at the same time I felt the need to vomit. They were ordered to put me on a seat. They bound me up so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands or feet. On the seat next to me was my father. He was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. The guy in charge started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane. It was so violent I thought my skull would crack open. All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. I foolishly tried to put it back in place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. They forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain. But those punches... I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, All it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. Then he ordered my father to be executed. It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. He pointed to one of the soldiers and then he pointed to me. My time had come. They all left except for the soldier who had the unpleasant task of finishing me off. I wanted to die, but not like that. Terror engulfed me. I could almost hear the sound of my body evacuating. I had the gun pointed to my forehead. I couldn't look at his face. I stank. I felt indecent. Then he moved the gun on purpose and shot without hitting me. He had taken pity on me. It must have been my fate not to die. He quickly cut the ropes and pushed me to the ground, saying out loud, It's done. The German whore has been dealt with. I was left motionless on the ground. He left, and I fainted again. When I came around, I did not know what to do. I was completely empty and felt pain Ziggy. everywhere. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder in the dark room. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. She will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? It's dangerous. Stop it. Talk. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Calm down. I will tell you everything. I found that strange note when I woke up. 
and I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you, aside from your usual quirks. I came to check that you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but you did not speak again for days. What is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. I'm not going to that loony bin. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because I found out. So you're making up stories, aren't you? But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister. Please, no. I was not well. I didn't know what I was saying. So many years have passed. You were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up. Don't speak. Don't say anything else. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theater in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. So I rushed to go play with it again. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Got Glein. Właśnie to, gdzie to jest w ogóle? Got Glein. Tu jest jeszcze LOL. Właśnie gdzie to jest to? Nie, tu jest pozamykane. LOL? A tu mam torby, dobra. O, teraz mam, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ale tędy nie wejdziemy. Jaj, 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 jaj. Okej, okej. Co to tam zostało tak naprawdę? Telefon, papet, tater. Dobra, czyli co nam zostało? Eee, German Command i Don Antonio. Ok. Sześć, dziewięć, trzy, osiem. Maybe later. Okay. She to know. Okay. Teraz German command. Jeden, jeden, osiem, pięć. Not now. Oh, okay. Not now, fish. Dobra. Mam 
mummy nearly died giving birth to me. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's and father's stories. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try, though. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. How are you, madam? I feel a sharp pain. Do you need anything? I can feel it. The time has come. Okay. Everything is ready. Help! Something is wrong. It is help. Irene is not well. How are you, honey? I'm getting weaker and weaker. Doctor, hurry! Arena is sick. Don't worry, Irene. The pain you feel is natural. Push, Irene, push. Push. Rene, push. Hmm, to tak trzeba. Okay. The baby is born. I feel sick. I feel myself wasting away. It's going to be okay. Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. I have hurt her so much ever since I was born. <laughs> Mummy, I'm thirsty. You just had a drink. Mummy, I'm hungry. It's not time to eat. Stop being a crybaby. Mummy, I have... 
have to pee. can I do about that? <laughs> Mummy, I'm sleepy. That's enough! Go to your room! My sight, I can stand you no longer. <coughs> ah! <coughs> How dare you! I will make you pay for that. My hands are not enough. You need to learn properly this time. Sorry, it was an accident, Mummy. Please don't hit me. <laughs> It was an accident, Mummy. Please don't hit me. Dum. Dum. Wow. This is just a game. Is it only a game? I believe the White Lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood. This is the only place I have ever been truly happy. Are these my memories then? Is this actually my life? She didn't have these nuts. What? She didn't have these nuts. What? What's up? Did Julia make you cry? I have not done anything. Now I will make you cry. Class. You rude girl. Julia, play with your sister. I love you, Mummy. <laughs> Stop making up these stories. Martha, 
Don't you want to play with your sister? You're only good for judging others, aren't you? Sorry, Mummy. Sorry, Mummy. I didn't do it on purpose. I don't believe you. You're trying to make fun of me. You did it on purpose. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm angry with you. I will beat manners into you, you stupid little girl. O kurde. Come with me now. Sorry, mommy. I'm so sorry. Class, 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 class. So? I will put you in your place, girl. Mummy, I won't do it anymore. I promise. Too late. These false tears won't help you. Stay still. <laughs> 